Welcome to the channel, everybody, for a PLO study stream using the bucket tool. Um, not 100% set up yet. Give me like a minute or two. I could have gone with the countdown. That would have made it easier for me, I guess. All right, so we got some music here. Let me put up the tweet. And we'll be ready in a second. Yeah, there was a, a bit of an unscheduled stream happening here for the last half hour on Smitty Stream, the newest addition to the Run It Run streamer team. Nice to see another PLO streamer there. And from what I heard, he's looking to uh, do this full time as well. The stream I don't know about the streaming, but the, the playing at least. So that'll be an interesting journey to follow. If you haven't followed him, uh, check out Smitty um, on his uh, Twitch channel. Oh, I need to switch the song. This one is way too involved for a study stream. All right, so the tweet is out. That is that taken care of. And we're actually gonna dive back into this uh, spot that we has had during the last study stream. Oh, I need to open the, the poll, right? All right, so first things first, let's go to this view then. This up here, the study spot is still the same. I'll put up the poll right now. And what was this? Yeah, because that was a spot. So first of all, that was a spot that was uh, wholly confusing. It was the first study stream I ever came out of being um, more confused than going in. And I had planned on finding something and checking out the spot like in a Mastermind video or in a Run at Once video over the weekend. But I honestly, I didn't find the time for it to do it. So it's more, more or less unprepared or at least not better prepared than the last time. We're going to jump into the same spot yet again. And yeah, prepare to be baffled. At least I'm prepared to be baffled. And it was uh, on 1088, huh? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. And we had some, yeah, we had some bucket supply to this one as well, apparently. I think we'll just dive right back in because these buckets actually worked out pretty nicely in the sense that the answers, I, I think it was the first time that me and by extension Twitch chat was wrong more often than not. On the 1088. Sing is suited. So what's what's the spot? We are the button. The cutoff opens as a race first in. We three bet the cutoff. The cutoff calls. Cutoff checks to us on a flop of 1088. Prepare to have your mind blown in a couple of spots because at least I know I am. So right up the first one here. Queen 1096 where we don't block front or back door flushes. We don't have them. We yeah, don't have a pair. We don't. We, we we got nothing except a pair and a double gutter right now, right? So why can't I reuse this tree? Oh, I guess I have to make up the poll questions again. Sorry, we'll do that and then we'll get that this party started. The options are to check with a three bet. Let's see, check. Just sitting with the poll, almost done. Seven. All right, there you go. I think the poll should be up on the screen now. Yeah. 
So, is this going to be a check? Is this going to be mixed? It's going to be a bet? I don't know. I'm uh, completely... Uh, well, not completely clueless, but I'm a little bit unsure after all the wrong answers I had during the last stream studying the spot. Um, think about this. Stock raising wages. Maybe sometimes it is a bet. There's not many great turns anyway. I splash rolls come come and help me out, coming in with the bet here. Yeah, I think I think I'm starting to like it. Um let's see though. Let's see. Hundred percent check. I for the record I would have gone in uh, with a bet here as well. Okay. So nothing with a gutter and the backdoor jack high flush draw. I'll upload this uh, video to YouTube in the next days and there in the title I'll put in the spot and I'll do this for all the previous streams in case you want to check out the uh, previous study streams, uh, it'll make it easier. Push world spinning here again. So here's what I think at at runtime, like at the tables up until now, I would check this basically 100% frequency. A nice for sure. If if it is a bet, it's certainly going to be a bet fault. Uh, yeah. So up until now, I would have checked this hundred percent, but I suspect that you have a good point here. I special rolls. So I'm going to click. I'm going to do what I would have done up, up until now. I'm going to click the check button, but I'm not saying that that's going to be correct. Not only is it not correct, it is hundred percent not correct. That is what is so infuriating about this spot that I keep. At least it's infuriating me. Anyway, anyway, nicely done there, I special rolls. Also, welcome back to the channel. All right, all right, all right. So this time we have nothing but a pair. I think with a pair we... So in heads up, Pilo, we would bet this at, a, at some clip, which of course doesn't apply here. Again, I would check it back at runtime. So if this is going to be another hundred percent C bet, I think we're switching spots. Okay, no, this time it is a check. Good. So very much a medium strong hand here on this board, I would say. So the medium strong ones, do we? Is there enough reason to bet? I'm trying to take it down right now. So if we could raise, we still need to let it go, right? On a paired board with two spades. I, I, I would assume we need to let it go. You'd bet it here, huh? We did check a similar hand the queen 10 9 6 but that one just had a pair in the gutter this time you have a pair in an open ender mm, i'm still gonna go for the check as a medium strong hand curious to see what's correct here so a mixed strategy slightly favoring betting okay i guess i could live with that go on suit variations for this one Wait, where where did it go? Variations, there you go. Like what changes? This one has, where did this one go now? This one has a backdoor flush round, we don't block spades. We bet at 61%, we bet it more if we have, okay, there we have the open and straight flush draw, but we also bet at a slightly higher frequency with absolutely no redraws or no 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 flush draws. Interesting enough. But 
if you have this, uh, but that's with a, with a spade blocker that won't be, be better at a, a decent dish frequency. If we don't have a spade blocker, like there's there's two outliers here which get bet at over 50%, but otherwise it's a low betting frequency very much. This has a backdoor flush draw. This one has a backdoor flush draw. So with the backdoor flush draw, we bet more often. Oh, but this one also backdoor flush draw. This one also backdoor flush draw. And which ones do we bet at 100%? Let's see. Two backdoors here with the straight flush. Then the king high, the second nut flush draw. Yeah, the king high. Alright, alright. Ten and seven, so very similar hand. Actually, the, the jack gives us a better straight now. Let me put up the pole again. Hmm. Bet here. Yeah, you know what? Judging by what we've seen in the with on the with the other hand, this is probably even more of a bet. Yeah, a little bit more of a bet, but still very much like 60, 40, 65, 35 in this case. Running up slightly. Alright. So maybe we will get to grips with this spot. Okay, the quads. I guess the most interesting would be, is it going to be 100% one or the other? Is it going to be 100% check? I would say no, it's not going to be 100%. I think there is going to be some uh, betting here. One I sort of, for mix for, I, I would, I'm assuming, um, like building a pot and balancing betting range a little bit because we also bet some very weak stuff apparently but yeah we don't have a space well we don't block any of these cards maybe that's makes it slightly more of a of a bet then so i'm gonna go with the check myself clearly but i'm gonna be curious about these numbers here 100 percent. all right 100 percent. but yeah yeah you're no um let's check out let's check out other eight eight hands without ten ten checking all of them all right is there like if we take this one out with the tens just checking 100 percent of our quads here more forbid if he block his cards. If if he don't block his cards, yeah, but I would assume so too. But apparently this time around the uh, the quads here just get checked at one hundred percent. All right. And now we have the second nuts with the straight blocker. Um, any reason? Hmm. Let's see. Pro probably a lot of checking here as well, right? This is one of the strongest hands we can show up with here. So if the quads get checked 100%, question is... This, this, I don't think this is going to be 100%. I think this will be mixed. We unblock spades. Unblock over pairs, which is nice. We don't have a king or anything like that. In the other hand, we had an ace, yeah. So we were, yeah, uh, blocking aces as well. Which bl blocking aces here is not a big deal, because our opponents shouldn't have aces, uh, basically ever. Once we three bet him before the flop. No, now that is very interesting. 
And I think those are the reasons we unblock uh, kings, queens, jacks. Uh, let's check out other 10 8 heads. And Luke Bonner in the channel. Hey, 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 good to see you. Oh, I sent you a message on Discord. Oh, I already got your answer. I'll uh, reply uh, back after the stream. So let's check out other 10 8 hands here and see if something changes if we have a king, a queen in there. I guess the ace is not all that important, although it does protect us from somebody else having uh, an eight with an ace. Let's see. Let's take out 10 10 and take out 8 8 and take out ace ace, I guess. Uh, maybe not the ace ace. Hey, thank you very much, Luke. We appreciate you saying that. Probably get it in versus yeah yeah. Protect a little bit of casual focus music in the background. I know <laughs> this yeah. A little bit of the, the, the probably the more unusual music for the stream, but uh, this this is this particular metal song I kind of dig. So with the Ace Queen, we bet a little bit. We even bet hundred percent. Let's see what. What we don't bet at a high frequency, sort of by probability here. Scroll down a little bit, actually a fair bit. So there are some combinations not blocking flushes that bet close to 100%. Now we're getting into... Okay, so here we bet a little bit less. Now we block kings and jacks. And our opponent is going to show up with, you know, some kings here for sure. So the jack also blocks the straight draw. The, the straight draw. If we unblock the straight draw now, we bet more. Again, no backdoor flushes with these hands. And now for lower frequencies, more frequency ones. Eight six five. So here we have a flush draw in there. That's an interesting one. That's an interesting one, because it's very similar to the hand we are showing up with here. As in our our other two side hearts can make can't cannot make us a better hand. But with uh, two spades so uh, which we bet at hundred percent frequency. With two spades with the flush rub, we are uh, checking half here. That's curious. And I think something like this, because we've seen this bet at a higher frequency. This is, I would attribute to Sova Voodoo a little bit. Again, uh, with the king blocking the kings, we bet a little less. All right. So it seems to be the case. Like with Broadway cards, we, uh, and at no flush draws, we bet a little less. Or if we block uh, draws, if we like the, like the Queen Jack 10 here, the dotted out card is the Queen due to an issue on my end. It's being dotted out. Um, yeah, so if we block the draws, we are much more intent on checking, letting our opponent catch up a little bit. Also, he can't, you know, he, not catch up a little bit, sorry. Um, he cannot, he doesn't have as many draws in there, so he cannot call, go like, oh, okay, I call, I, I have a gutter, I have the open end or whatever. Cool. Interesting one. Here I I almost I almost don't want to guess myself. This is a spot where so far I've been for this exact board and this exact uh, situation I've been wrong a lot. But I would check it would bet. It. Hmm. MP Adam finding some time. Hey, good to see you here, mate. Float of one in the channel. Good to see you, sir. How's life been uh, treating you in Malta, MP Adam? So I'm gonna click the two just because you clicked it, Luke Butter. I have I have nothing here. I have actually I have no input. I hesitate to guess. That's awesome to hear, Adam. Very nice. 
100% check. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Luke Potter says, OMG, oh, damn. The game gets too boring if you get better head like this. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, you have the Corona as an issue there as well. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Who hasn't these days? As as fresh rolls, yeah, that would be my my guess as to why we don't uh, want to bet here as well. But uh, Luke, this I, I had the spot in the last stream, and that was the first Starter stream ever where I, I came out of it being more confused than going in. Because me and Twitch chat were wrong more often than not. Yeah, so obviously I hope that every all, all of the Corona uh, worries pass you by, MP Adam. I guess it's nice that uh, most of your work happens over the phone, right? Or over the internet, so you don't need to get into contact with people that much. So, is there any point in checking out, checking out suit variations? Is there going to be anything interesting hidden there? So the ones where we don't have the... yeah. We sort of, well, we, we sort of bluff these, because if we get raised, we need to let go. The ones where we don't have a the front door flush draw, for sure. So no spades, unblocking spades. I guess some of them have a some of them have a backdoor flush draw. And as soon as we add spades into the mix, the frequencies go down. OMFG, oh, good to see you back. Welcome back, sir. Yeah. So we don't want to get raised here if we have a have a flush draw. Seems that seems to be it. There's one hand that one has the front and the back of flush draw, which is pretty similar to the ones one we have. The only difference being that here we have the perfectly single suited nine out of seven of different suits. Interesting. Interesting. Extend the quads again. Well, the quads, we all, we now have a spoiler, but for those of you who haven't seen the spoiler a couple of minutes ago when we checked out a similar hand, I'll, I can leave up the poll for a second. Doruk so went skiing. Oh, nice. I'm not gonna say anything because yeah, I we already checked out a very similar hand earlier. So in the previous hand with quads, my assumption was that uh, sometimes you bet here, because why not? Trying to you know further build a pot. Although it already is a three bit uh, pot here where we are in position. And it turns out that all the quad hands get checked, no matter the side cards. 100% checking here. This time we have the gutter again and the backdoor flush draw. I wonder if this backdoor flush draw gets, uh, will make a difference. Yeah, I thought so too, Floater, because I would have figured, you know, we bet at a decent frequency. I see quads, I just bet. Yeah, I'm a simple bet like that too. <laughs> Mesh the pop button. No, maybe not that. Yeah, let me bring up the lights a little bit. It is getting darkish outside. One here. For the they are! They are very interesting, uh, Luke. Like, this part drove me nuts during the last stream. So, for the record, uh, Floater, for example, I, I would uh, check here as well. Or I would have until up until now. I have a feeling um, this is going to be a better than decent frequency. And I wonder, I, I actually would uh, guess now that without backdoor diamonds, we better at 100%. 
Which window? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't see there for a second. Thank you. Didn't see if it was out of frame. So I'm still going to go with the bet based on what I've seen so far doing this in the last stream. And I'll be curious to see if the diamonds will make a difference. Okay, so a bet at a high frequency, which I would have always checked here. So let's see need to move this out of the way for a second. Let's go with the ace queen jack four, our exact hand, and see which ones we check. So we check it with, an, with some flush draws, and we bet it at 100% frequency with the front and the back door, okay. Interesting, so this is just, wait, what? Okay, I got, I got nothing about like why this was 100% check and this 100% bet. I mean, I do notice that uh, this one is ideally uh, single, uh, double suited, this one ain't. And I don't think it makes a difference in reality, but it apparently makes a big difference to the solver here. So I, I would attribute these two to solver voodoo. If we have the nut flush draw, we are getting a little bit less interest in betting. If we don't have a flush draw at all, we get more interest. Yeah, so that's basically what I was trying to figure out. If we take away the backdoor diamonds here, we are starting to bet at a higher frequency. Cool. Figured as much, but only, you know, since recently, since, we, since I've done these streams. So what about this one? We do have to cut it to a straight flush, which... Does seem to make a difference to the, the like straight flushes uh, draws, even if it's just a gutter. Does seem to make a difference to the solver. What should we bet overall with the range? That is an excellent question. Let's uh, we'll check this out, and we'll we'll check this out. I guess we can check it out right now. Hang on. So, so we have some buckets in here, right? With middle low pairs, we check a lot. With uh, double suited ones, with single suited uh, rainbow, we are betting more. All right. So we have fewer, well, we have fewer flush draws, fewer double suited, uh, double flush draws here, making the hands weaker, i.e., making us want to bet more. With rundowns, double suited. We bet a lot, which is, to me, surprising. Then we have single suit rainbow rundowns, again, but at a higher frequency, same, uh, even even though the difference is smaller, but it's the same with the uh, mid-low pairs. As soon as we are single suited or rainbow, we start betting a little bit more. Then we have three broadways, non-broadways, so we're going to have a lot of uh, blockers, a lot of uh, gutters, a lot of blockers to draws here, I mean. And we're gonna be double suited. We're gonna be double suited always, betting at a high, very high frequency. Two broadways, two low connectors, slightly higher. And the highest betting frequency we have for double suited three card rundowns plus a broadway. Okay, so yeah, in which case we are hitting something around the sport or on the sport quite often. Double suited racket, we bet a lot. Double suited double pair, we check more often. All right, cool. Bring us back to this hand. I think we bettered at a decent frequency. I would actually guess that we bettered more often than we check it. But with range, uh, what do you mean, Luke? Oh, right, right, right. What do we do, like in general? Do we bet our uh, the range that we show up with? Yeah, all hands. Um, do, 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 do. I would probably have to remove all the buckets for this. Rukla saying looks like a bet. Oh, we don't. We'll see your Rukla's. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the bet here as well, but I'm curious to see. Uh, Luke saying no, but I assume I don't need to remove the buckets, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be curious. Ha! 
100% check. All right, so I'm right. That might just be it. That's gonna be it, uh, Luke. I think that'll work. Yeah, yeah. So we see about sixty percent, generally speaking. Yeah, and we have aces in here, which are not part of the bucket. So this is gonna. This is our entire range for sure. Yeah, thank you for asking. I wouldn't have thought to to check that. Okay, what can we figure out about this hand, if anything? King Jack ten seven. So if we are, uh, let's go with a double suited one. Well, I guess we only have double suited ones. Yeah, if we three bet, so that's not going to make a difference. Can we filter for spades yet? Ooh, something happened. D Rezzy, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Can we filter for two spades? I don't know if it works like this. Um, spade, spade, maybe? Nah, I doubt it. No, I don't know if we can filter for this right now in the bucket tool. It might be that the, imp uh, the syntax for this needs to be implemented. But, I mean, you know, there are not that many hands here. Oh, good point. Yeah, that would have done it as well. Yeah, next time, okay. Because now I got the same thing effectively here. I forgot about it. Uh, Luke, thank you. So the frequency goes up with the have the king high flush draw with the back door. Then we want to bet this a lot. And we also want to bet it if we are weaker, if we don't have a back door flush draw that uh, mirrors what we've seen in, in other spots with other hands. Okay. So we have the jack blocker, we have the backdoor flush draw, we have a spade blocker, and we have a top pair. So there are some decent turns for us, right? A queen, a queen, a queen of diamonds would be pretty baller. But that's not many. That's not many great turns. Another ten would be fun for sure. A king would be, yeah, okay, I'll take it. An ace would be okay, I'll take it. But not that many turns. So maybe we don't hate getting raised. As in, we just let it go and one, thusly won a seabed at a decent clip. But we do have to back to flush draw again. Not flushed one, not, not least. So I'm gonna go with the check here. Yeah, do we hate getting? We do hate getting raised. Yeah, exactly. That's I. I hope I didn't. Uh, maybe I said it wrong, but that's what I was. What I meant. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hang on. No, it, it's not. Sorry. Yeah, I figured in the in if we get raised, it's it's straightforward in the sense that we just let it go with with Elda. Too many heartaches. Um, let's see. Hundred percent bet. And that's where this spot just gets wild every time. Let's check out the suit variations then. I would assume without the backdoor flush draw, we want to bet more. Yeah, this is a lull spot from start to finish. This one that we I, I had it already a stream covering this one. It was infuriating. Okay, so the weakest ones, no, with a backdoor flush draw blocker or, you know, three of that suit, we bet at the high frequency. No flush draws, bet at 100% frequency. Blockers, blockers to the back door, blockers to the front door. 100%. Blockers, single uh, back door, okay, bet at 100% as well. Uh, like a uh, two-card back door flush, I mean. Checking is still better against. Yeah, I would wouldn't necessarily disagree. Let's see where does the checking at a decent clip start. That's ninety five percent. Let's ignore that. Uh, 
So we check at a sum at some frequency without backdoors, but the king blocker, king diamond blocker. The nut flush draw. Do we bet with the nut flush draw? No. Actually, we do. Tell a lie, we do. So the front and the back door, and only one front door. Sometimes a blocker, sometimes no. This is checked at a bet at 100%. Okay, cool. Then we have this one, which gets... I don't quite see what the difference is to from this one to the other ones we, we just saw, but I'll, I got nothing here, so I'll just take that one as f at face value. Without a spade blocker here and the back door, we start betting less often. We go back to flushes, we start betting less often. No blocker. All right. Yeah, I can't come up, can't come up with anything uh, beyond what this uh, window is showing. Or like e even too many reasons for why it's showing what it's showing, to be honest. So a gutter with the weaker back door, no spade. Hmm. I would bet here. I would, you know, given from what you've seen so far, I would probably bet it as well. Yeah, right. Can't be that much different from the Ace Queen Jack 4 from earlier. Yeah, exactly. And the 7 blocks some of our opponent's uh, wraps a little bit. Like, you know, uh, medium, like rapish type of hands, random type of hands. Uh, he's gonna call out 3 bet before the flop. So maybe that 7 actually does make a difference. A little bit. Let's see. I'll, I'll go with the bet as well. 100%. Phew. All right. All right. Cool. Again, suit variations. I'd be curious. I'm basically only looking at uh, nut diamonds now. That's the only one that would interest me. Some of these are checked. Okay, so if you have both... Not diamonds and queen high spades here. That one would be a check. Yeah, there's way to, you know, there's so many things to keep in mind in PLO. But like the... No, you can't even say the very strongest one because it also gets better at a decent frequency. So yeah, just bet at 100%. Like why these are being checked now, I couldn't tell you. No clue. Solve a voodoo. I, I'll file it under solve a voodoo. But yeah, betting. Betting seems good here, is, would be my takeaway. Um, okay, so I have, a, I have my guess locked in. I'm going to say too much about it just yet. A lot of betting happening here, all right. Hey, Tonic, welcome to the channel, mate. Betting unanimously, huh? Okay, I'll be, I'll be the outlier. I'll, I'll check here. But I'm going to put the, the Twitch chat uh, answer in for the record. And it is very much mixed, slightly favoring checking. So let's go to the suit variations again. Good to see you. So which ones do we bet at a high frequency? The ones with the back door? Better the, those be better the highest uh, frequency. 
the ones with uh, one of the suits that are not on the on the uh, board. We've seen that in previous streams. Like if you have three suits and heart is not among them, and it's a mixed strategy, we tend to bet more with a hand that um, has hearts in it and a flush draw. That's, that was my thinking why I was uh, leaning towards checking there, Tonic. That's precisely it, yeah. Realizing equity and uh, plenty of good turns that... You know, sometimes you're drawing essentially dead here, but still. Um, barring these cases, I think we are way more interested in seeing a turn be, yeah. Than with other hands where we go like, okay, we bet fold this easy peasy. Bet folding here kind of hurts a little bit. So which ones do we check at 100% frequency? That'll be interesting to see. And it is, except for this one outlier here with the jack high flush. Oh, that's just open and straight flush. Okay. So the open and straight flush gets checked a lot. We don't fold versus uh, raise here with this hand. Yeah, I guess we can't, yeah. Svaku, good to see you. Especially, <laughs> yeah, that's true. On those various uh, runouts, we are we ain't drawing that. So we checked uh, if you don't have spades. Basically, those are hundred percent checks. And if you have to open and straight flush draw, do we bet an open and straight flush draw? No. Well, this one with the where we have to front and the back door, we sometimes bet. Cool. So spades uh, are what makes us want to bet here. Even more so if we have the backdoor flush draw as well. Cool. What about this one then? This doesn't even qualify as a medium strong hand. This is just a pretty weak hand, right? We do have a pair. We unblock kings and queens. Which in a three bit pot, the cutoff is showing up with at a reasonable frequency, I would say. We don't have spades. Hmm. So, this is one where we bet it more once we have spades. Because my thinking would be too, you know, like seeing what we've seen so far, uh, just bet it here and then, you know, we'll, we'll let it go. If we get raised, that's fine. Maybe we can take it down right now. Especially holding that, that jack is probably a... Uh, and the six also blocking, you know, draws in general a little bit. I'd be interested to see this one with uh, spades. See, but 100%. Look better saying bet fold, yeah, bet fold for sure. Um, or like the folding part for sure. And apparently the betting, uh, you're absolutely right, Luke. Low EV by checking and weak playability, yeah. Yeah. Like there's no turn where that makes us go like yay. So how about them spades? Mm, the jack high spades, we check and we check it with check high spades and the ace door ace back door ace high back door lush draw and everything else gets better at 100 percent so nut spades get better at 100 percent and everything else all right so the weakest the weakest flush draw we can show up with here we can sometimes check and i guess kind of an interesting takeaway would be in a spot where we hate getting raised slightly more since we have to back down that flush, that one we check at a very high frequency. Cool. Let's work with the results. The results are not up to date. Actually, for this month, we're probably up like 20 ish buy ins. So, oh god, we, we should know this. Since we kind of checked a very similar handout earlier. But honestly, I don't remember. I have the window open, but I'm going to hide it right now because I don't want to look at it. Don't want to spoil myself. 
Yeah, I had the windows with the with the previous hands open. Oh, I didn't start the poll. Sorry. Let's crush March. Jane Ann is in the house as well. Good to see you, sir. Uh, so far, March is shaping up to be a nice month. I'm very curious to see how the Power Fest is playing out, because I'll be playing more than 40 events there. So, Florida betting here. Um, I don't remember, man. Checked a very similar handout. Yeah, I do remember. I think I do remember. I believe this is a bet at a high, if not 100% frequency. Yep. Yep. And once we have like a, a, a king or jack, like a king jack in there, we uh, start checking a, a good deal more often. Like a king jack 10 8, queen jack 10 8. Once we start blocking our opponent's draws, I believe that was the result from the last, yeah, from the last 10 8 hand we checked out. Whereas if we have, you know, two lower side cards than a 10 8, we just bet it at 100%, apparently. King King 10 10. All right, all right. Flopping the second nuts here. Blocking your opponent's kings. Our opponent doesn't have aces, so since we, you know, we three bet him pre and he's out of position, so he should be four betting his aces. Pretty much always 400 big lines, I would say. So, do we want to bet this? And that'd be interesting to check this one out without the kings. Like a 10 10. Do we three bet the 10 10 7 6? I doubt it. Check 10 10 9, maybe. Something like that. That, 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 that way on a three bet. Some, I guess. Um. So, do we want to bet? Do we want to check here? I just want to say, Jane Anders, uh, I've been saying it earlier, this is the most, it has been the most infuriating spot to check out so far. I had a previous stream on this one, and I, that was the first study stream I left, more confused than going in. So this is a fun one. I'm going to go with a check here, and I'd be curious to see the frequencies, if it's like a 100% deal for one or the other, or if it's very much mixed. I'd actually say it's going to be a check at a high frequency. No, okay. Don't matter. We bet this one. Curious. So what ten tens? Maybe without the well, actually, even with the aces, probably doesn't matter too much. Which ones don't we bet with the aces? Okay, so apparently that does matter. I guess we check out of these then. No. So which ones do we check? Which tens do we check? Is it that many? It's not that many that we check at 100% frequency here. Let's check these out. Uh, we have a jack or a nine. Here we have the 10 eight. Okay, cool. So blocking the wraps, blocking the open enders makes it a check 100%. Yeah. Check the ones with a uh, nine or eight, pretty much right. And then at a lower frequency, the ones where we block the nut flush, I guess. Here we block the nut flush, have the back to block the backdoor uh, king high flush as well. And if we have the nut flush draw, we also check it 100% of the time. Very interesting. Okay, so basically if we block our opponent's continuation ranges, which here we don't at all. No jack, no queen, no nine, no seven. I think that sort of makes sense. Okay, but no trapping going on here, just betting 100%. Which I guess also makes sense. We're betting, we're betting so much crap that we're looking to bet fold here. And two-tone flops. All right, uh, good to know. Luke Barter saying top set and a nut flush blocker is just too strong. It just gets checked very often. And I think instinctively that's what a lot of us would do at runtime too. But thank you, for, thank you for pointing that out. It's the next one. 
So here we have Babkas with a gutter and a backdoor king high. Lush draw. Seeing that we have a little bit of equity, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'll be curious to see what you guys put in. Very interesting. I have one word for a check. Personally, I'm going to go for the bet. Want to point out, up until now at the tables, I wouldn't have. I would have checked this 100%. So, yeah. I think I'm down for the betting here. And it is bet at a very high frequency, which just falls in line with what we've seen. That, you know, we're bluffing with a tiny bit of equity here. So if, if we get raised, we still let it lay it down, obviously. But if we get called, we can either, you know, we can reevaluate turns, basically. No pair, just bet. <laughs> Let's see if that holds up. That would be an easy rule. That'd be nice. Here. Hmm. Right on, Luke. Hmm. Man him down, slam the bat button. Yes. Just pop, 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 pop it. This is, you know, the, the as far as draws are concerned, excluding, you know, hands to have a flush draw, this is pretty much the best we can show up with, right? So I wouldn't be shocked if this goes into the checking range for a, at a decent clip and probably bet this one with the flush draw more often. Let's see. Anybody voting for betting? No. Yeah, 95% check, so that is more than fine. That's just for, you know, sake of my sanity, I always tend to translate 95% to 100%. Are there suit variations? Wait, there's a window there somewhere. It's just hidden in the background, I believe. For some, it's there. I just don't see it. It's hidden behind something on my desktop, and I don't want to go digging for it. So let's do this differently, and just go with uh, do it here. So it was the queen jack nine seven that was suited. Yeah, better with spades with uh, you know, not 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 spades, but the high the higher the mid high spades at a high frequency. Hundred percent if you have the back door. Flush draw as well. 100% if we have the hearts. If you have one of the suits that are not on the board, so hearts and or clubs here. Also uh, falls into line with what we've seen previously. Is King Jack 9? Uh, sure, let's check it out. That one we Bet at a high frequency. Yeah, it's, uh, so the, the weaker we are, the, while still having equity, the more likely we are to bet. I think, do we check it with a nut flush draw a bit? Yeah, a bit. We bet it with the blockers and the back door. Or just the blocker, like the, the, the flush blockers or back door flush blockers. Embedded with uh, the ace king of spades, 100%. With the weakest ones again that have no backdoors, no, no backdoor blockers really. Ace, ace, check nine. That's an interesting one too. That's an interesting one. Betting more often now. 
gonna slam the bet. Yeah, so I guess here the most interesting would be to check out which ones we're not betting. Which ones we're checking at 100% frequency. So three spades, check at 100%. Okay, here we have the open. No, no it's not the three spades. It's the open and straight flush, right? Uh, no, it is. It is the three spades. Or rather, having the nut flush on top. Because just the open as uh, a straight flush, we bet at 100%. Negative ace of spades checks, because it then it has to bet fold. Yeah, sounds good to me. Checks at a very high frequency. We bet the weakest ones. We bet some with the um, ace of spades, but yeah, not at a high frequency, so let's not dive too deeply into that. Yeah, so we bettered with uh, the spades, we bettered without spades, like bettered with the nut spades with a straight flush draw, and then all the weaker ones without spades, we bettered 100% tie. Uh, where we have here, we have a I say backdoor pretty much always, or a block, is high blocker, backdoor blocker always. All right, cool. Where did other window be? Here. All right, so I have a feeling about this one. But I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, what with everything we've seen, I would guess this is a bet, if not at 100%, then at a very high frequency. So I'd say so too. 100%, matter of fact. Cool. We're slowly getting somewhere this time around. The first stream was just infuriating, checking out the same spot. Now we're slowly uh, getting a handle on it, I feel. Which I'm rather happy about. How about this one here? Well, my first thought would be, I don't know. My second thought would be at runtime so far, I would have checked this 100%. But, but we've been looking into this for a while now, so. Does it change anything for me personally? So we don't block draws, right? We block the king high flush draw, which is something. And we have the king high flush draw, which also is something. Um, hmm. I think it seems good. Hate to get raised. Yeah, it might be a really good point here. We'll check out suit variations in a second, see if that makes any difference with this hand. So we block kings a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna go with the check as well. Yeah, or just a pair of five, good enough for a bad fold. That might be it. I'd be very, I'm gonna be very curious about the frequencies here. Hundred percent check. All right, all right, all right. Cool. So far, so good. Is there any betting going on? Where is my variations window? Hang on, let me let's see if I can dig it up. No, I can't. It's hidden somewhere. All right, we'll just do the old-fashioned way then. Just know that we could click on variations and it, it works. It's just I hit the window somewhere and I can't get it back. So, no biggie. Well, we, you know, what's initially interesting about this is that this is a three bet. But I guess we're less, in, like before the flop, we are in a three bet spot, remember, in position in the, on the button versus the cutoff. But I guess this is a bluff three bet. So, you know, we happily fold this against a four bet. And we're less interested in seeing a flop, so calling, I, I guess if we're suited to the ace, we call here a lot, pre, rather than uh, raising. Because then we can also play this on multi -wheel much better. Right, so do is there any betting going on? Let's see, which ones do get bet? Okay, so the ones that bet have the nut flush blocker.
And there's a mixy between the backdoor king high flush and just no flush blockers at all, or no backdoor flush, no backdoor or flush blockers at all. Inferen, hey, welcome back. Guess we like to have a blocker near or nearby block to the board. Yeah, yeah. I think so, like a nine, a jack, a queen. Okay. So maybe just, you know, these outliers here, there's again so many things to remember in PLO. Just check it at 100% no matter what with this and a very similar hand like the Ace King 6-6. Six, six. Well, you know what? Do the sixes make a difference? They might start to make a difference. They do indeed, but just means that we're checking at 100% here. How about sevens then? Like sevens, nines. Okay, sevens we start betting. That's where it starts to get interesting. Also at decent frequencies here. The blocker with the backdoor and not flush draw. And a spade. King of spades as well. Backdoor, not flush draw. Okay. Then how about the nines? Probably increases the frequency. No, it doesn't. Actually decreases it again. All right, cool. It's been six, six, five. So we flop absolutely nothing. But we also would bluff without any equity here, basically. Wait, where's the pole? There it is. So does this make it into a bluffing range? Which seems quite busy as it is. So yeah, personally, I'll go with the check and I, my prediction would be, we're going to see 100% check with this one. <laughs> wow, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed that, as you can tell, as you heard. Wow, just 100% wrong, huh? I got nothing. Like with the other ones, I sort of got it. We we bluff with equity. Like the one the, the other ones we bluff with, we had, you know, a gutter or whatever. Guess the queen makes a difference. Let's check out the ace king six five, maybe. And before we do that, um the rule for no pair just bad works quite. It does seem to be that uh it does, yeah. Good point. So once we don't have to... Actually, before we do that, let's go with the queen. Okay, so with the queen, we bet it at 100%. The, apparently, the queen makes a difference. A big difference, too. Now with the king, we are, we are much more intent on checking. Again, bet the nut flush draw, bet the backdoor nut flush draw with a spade or without a spade blocker, the high frequency. With spades, lower frequency, yeah. So lower spades, uh, check at a low frequency. A bet at a low frequency, uh, excuse me. Not spades, bet at a high frequency. Okay, so the queen is what makes all the difference here, I would say. Blocking, you know, some draws. All right. But, you know, no matter what the turn brings, we give up here, right? If we get called. Is there any... No, yeah. There's no turn where we want to put the rest of our money in. Because now we're getting into quite a large part at this point. I guess in another eight, we sometimes maybe want to bluff. I don't know. What do, what do you guys think? Do we... Like, if we... Bet this, get called, and another eight rolls off. Would that be a spot where we just go for it? Make life as hard as possible for kings, queens. 
And do they fall enough to justify that? That might be the only turn I can think of where we maybe want to continue bluffing sometimes, right? I can't think of another one. Like, certainly not the 10. That's where it gets ugly. Maybe the 10 twos at a, at a lower frequency, but me. Florida said, yeah, I'd imagine on the 8, right? Cool. Thanks for the feedback. Or for, not for the feedback, for your opinion. Appreciate it. Oh, wait. I finished the poll. That was not the idea. Let's start it back up again. The 9, possibly. With the queen and the the 6 we held. Oh, then, yeah, I could sometimes see that, too. Unless it's the nine of spades, but yeah, that would make sense too, I guess. So here, unanimously betting currently. I think that's going to be, that's actually what it's going to show us, 100%, I would say. <coughs> so I'd go with the bet here as well. How many did we have wrong so far? We had a good deal of them wrong. So uh, just as a heads up, the stream is going to go on for another 20 minutes. Then we'll head over to the Runner Ones channel, rate those guys, see what Phil is up to, because apparently they are not taking a break today. So yeah, just checked how many we had wrong. So for the last 10 minutes, we can go over the run, or the last five minutes, we can go over the ones that we had wrong. Yeah, let's bet this at 100%. Cool. We're, we're getting somewhere with this. We're getting somewhere. And just as I'm saying that, we get a spot where I'm totally unsure. Could this be mixed strategy? You know what? We kind of block the eight by proxy. We block a lot of hands that have an 8 in them. 876, you know, 1098, stuff like that. Depending on my mood, that makes it 50-50. That's a good that's a good enough answer too. I Say bet, and I would be shocked if this. Well, I, at this point, I wouldn't be shocked about anything. Maybe I'll just shut my mouth and click that button. All right, hundred percent, no mixing going on here in Solver World. Oh, now the suit window uh, comes back up again. Cool. Wait, damn it. Okay, cool. Uh, so which ones do we bet? The ones with uh, no backdoors and no... Yeah, just the ones that don't have any suit uh, from this board. So unblocking all the flush draws, be it front or back. The ones with a weakish backdoor. Ones with a high backdoor as well, apparently. Again, only one backdoor, no blocker to the spades. So, generally speaking, we bet without spades. That seems to be it here. And once we gain a backdoor flush, uh, we bet it's a, there's some mixing going on, still he heavily favoring betting. Yeah, Luke confirming without the flush draw, yeah. Cool. That's a very, on this board, very much a medium strong hand, right? Which, generally speaking, want to check a lot, right? Is that true on a paired board, on a board like this? Interestingly, we just checked out this hand where, like the, the very previous hand, where without spades, we bet a lot, bet 100%. But there we didn't have, a, didn't have an open-ender. 
not well we had a pair right yeah we had we had the 10 the open ender how much difference is it going to make is it going to make all the difference for the i'm going to i agree with everybody saying checking i would check too let's do this very much mixed now interesting only undercourt to the boards yeah except for the king but yeah so this one very much mixed. Again, let's check out the suit variations. Which ones do we better the high frequency? The double suited ones with both front and back door flush, 100%. We've seen that a lot. The best spades we can have, also betting at 100%. Are there any king high spades that we don't bet? No. And then with the backdoor high flush draw, we also bet it at a very high frequency. Punja, hey, 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 good to see you back. Welcome, sir. And that's when the mixing starts. So here with the open-ended straight flush, we again bet a lot. Now it's the other way around. Betting that the flush draw is mostly checking the other. Apparently, yeah. Because this time we, we do have a draw here as well. We do have the open ender and blockers to our opponent's continuation range. Also blocking the 8 by proxy quite a bit. Up to king 8, 10 8, 9 8, 7 8. Huh. And here, here, yeah, now it's exactly, it's pretty much exactly mirrored. You're right, floater. Whereas with previous hands, we would bet if we don't have flushes blocked at all or very poorly, we now check them. So the the open ender in addition to the pair makes all the difference here, apparently. Cool. Please always do correct me if I say something stupid. If that, Hopefully that's not going to be too much work. So now we have the gutter. No, sorry, we don't have a gutter. We have a blocker. The nut spades. Hmm. Build nut flush draw. Can't call if we get raised, right? So maybe we want to check here more could be a mix also yeah i could see that too see but if we still have to fall to a to a race right if you bet maybe not as interested in doing that seeing that we do hold the nut flush draw look butter after long deliberation going for the aggressive route which is being favored by chat right now Ach You know what? I I, guess, I think the jack makes a lot of the, uh, a big difference here. I was gonna check it, but now you you swayed me, or and I swayed myself. I had to bet fold, and I, yeah, that's the other thing. That's what had me hesitating for the longest time. But maybe the jack makes all the difference. We'll check out a. I think we show up with the ace king five four double suited here. As well, that we can three bet. So let's check this one. But then again, it's just ace high. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I feel your pain. <laughs> 100% bet. So no two ways about this one. So let's go for the ace-king 6-5. I believe that would be something that we show up with here. Confirm no pair, just bet. MP Adam, see you in a bit. Thank you for checking it out, man. Always a pleasure to have you. King. Yeah, can I do that though? I don't think that uh, syntax is being supported with the uh, spade here. Not the oh, it is. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so let's take out um, aces, um, tens. Oh, actually, there's like a no pair thingy. Hang on, where's my syntax? 
Where's my syntax cheat sheet? Wait, that's the wrong window. It's the no pair. Yeah, that one. Should give us a better picture. Right. Wait, there's still aces in there? Oh, we could wait. Yeah, it's the wrong thingy. No, it's not. It's the dollar sign. Where's your porn collection? <laughs> There's porn on the internet? I, I heard rumors. Good to see you back. Heads up, Master. 80 foot friends, we could end pairs, something like. Um, yeah, probably. Hang on. Like this. Oh, we still have aces in here. Okay, Luke Bader, something like this. All right, I'll go for it. Thank you. Okay, that seems to work. Flutter, that's the Monker uh, syntax. Yeah, they're still working on adding syntax. So, right. So this time, R R R is. Let me check my cheat sheet. <clears throat> Oh, RR is no pair. There you go. Just exclamation point RR would be no pair. Cool. So we probably, yeah, and now without an 8 and without the 1010, we probably don't need. I don't think it'll make, just for my own curiosity, let's see if that makes any difference here. So right now it's 91.7. 91 yeah, okay, that's already covered by the RR. Cool. So let's dive into this. Thanks, uh, Luke. Um, which ones do we... Well, we don't check any at a high frequency. There's some if we check mixed. But not that, you know, compared to all the hands, not many of them. So even though there is some mixing going on, would it just be wouldn't it just be easier to yeah pure bet base right? That's what I was trying to get at because you know trying to figure out why this one gets checked and you know similar ones get bet at a high frequency. Not our not worth our time. I would assume there's some solver voodoo where it probably is going to say like okay if I have the one the, the nine of like he the, the solver is going to use some randomizer here some randomizing card I think for the mixing I would assume. Like, you know, with the nine of clubs, I check it 41% of the time, whatever. Cool. Cool beans. And Floto wins again. Yeah, Floto, you're doing a good job. I hope I don't meet you at the tables all that often. I actually want to check, though. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, now we have the gutter and spades. Will be interesting. That ain't the bad. The, the, wouldn't be the worst takeaway, yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll do this one, then we go over the wrong ones. So here we have the gutter, we have spades. So we have, you know, we could make some stuff here. It's just going to be 100% bet. I guess that'll be interesting. No. Now with the spades, I would assume that that's the difference. We want to check here a lot. Let's go for the suit variations. Two, just for floater. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. It's still, you know, very much mixed, so you're not... I mean, not very much mixed. It's 70% uh, in favor of checking. Which ones do we bet? Okay, again, we bet the ones with the front and the back door. That's fine. Or the ones where we're not to the suited to the high card for the front door flush draw. And the weakest ones here again. 
the weakest ones here, 97%. Let's make it 100. And once we gain the queen high flush draw, we are less interested in betting here. My strategy is broken. This, man, this, it's not your strategy, it's, I, I think. I, I don't know. But it's, I can tell you that this spot broke me during the last stream. First stream I ever went out of being more confused and gone in. Okay, let's go over the wrong ones, which I think is a neat feature of the bucket tool. So if I can find the appropriate window, there you go. Start wrong. So, oh, no, I need to take this away. Kinos, hey, welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, let me put up the poll again. So all we know is that we did it wrong. So what's going to be the dealio? So it from what we've seen, it should be a bet at a high frequency, right? But I think this one was surprising. You know, going with what we've seen, I'm going to go with the bet. But I seem to remember that this was like a 100% check. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. And I got nothing. Double gutter. Oh, we have the double. We have the double gutter. I didn't see the double. Um, that might be it. That might be it, floater. Check out the suit variations for this one. Yeah. Better with the queen high spades and uh, the decent frequency also with the other spades. So better with spades. And then the frequency goes way down. Most we bet is with the back door. And this one here we just check. Additional question or like sort of bonus question. With this hand here, let's take this one, for example, which we bet 100%. What do we do if we get raised? Double gutter and the flush draw. Do we hate life and get it in? We'll do it in a second, yeah. Good point. Call. Right, right, when we don't have to get the queen. That's a good point. Yeah, but how about this one? Do we, you know... Curse the gods and get it in, or without spades. Yeah, we'll, we'll check that. Probably better to put faulted one still. Huh? You know what? That might. Yeah, I don't. I now Luke Bader is saying I don't think we bet fold. On the other hand, we block all the draws that could raise us, or at least you know some of them at least. Block blocking all the all the straightening cards, and blocking a ten. Take a screenshot of that one and maybe ask it in the mastermind later. Okay, screenshot taken. And now the King Ten Nine Six. Yeah, that'll be interesting. King Ten and Six with spades on top must be get it in. Yeah. Spades on top and the back door, like in, in a very specific example. Probably, probably never gonna be too happy, I, I would assume. Wait, no, it was King 10, 9, 6. Okay, so this one we checked at 100%, except if we have spades. 
And now without the queen, hang on, let's just get a general overview for the for the numbers here. So right now it's 70-30. With the queen, it go the betting frequency goes way down. Yeah. Good shout. Checking the King 10. And there we bet the weakest ones. Plus the one with the front of the back door again. Cool. All right. All right. That would bring us to the next one we had wrong. Did I put the poll up? Yeah. Lupata, thank you very much. All right, all right. I'll talk to you in Discord. Uh, thanks for showing up, man, and participating. Uh, it's pretty huge help. Thanks for all the insights, too. So, we have one vote for bet. Any more takers? For the record, I'm going with the bet here as well. I don't remember the result of this one. We do have the backdoor diamond store, which are not great. Hey, PVC. No. Oh. Yeah, PVC. Welcome back. Bet. I... Starting to get some doubts because I think we bet it last time as well. That it shows up in our, you know, wrong column here. I'm gonna go with the bet. Hundred percent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Long enough, eight X. Yeah. That was a backup. Good bluff candidate. Yeah, yeah. Full two race, but uh, you know, we can continue uh we yeah, could could make a hand with the nine we could pick up a king which would be pretty fine to check behind again uh on now that we would have picked up some additional equity yeah and could just reevaluate turns basically all right all right i believe i'm 100 percent certain now what we should do here since we had the spot obviously Wonder what do you guys believe or what do you guys remember for those of you who've been here when we had that spot a few minutes, a few an hour ago, whatever. That's a good point. I like the additional thought there that we are unblocking spades, so make it easier for our opponent to have something he wants to call for, especially for one third part. So I believe this was 100% bet. And let's check out the suit variations. I don't think even suit variations made a difference here. Okay, there's one that we check. Well, it's all, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Actually, they do make all the difference. So there's only one combination of spades we could have. Nine and a five, obviously. A good shout, Kinas. Nice. Well done. You're right. Everything gets bet except for spades where we go like, okay, now we block even this so we really want him to have to catch up with something nicely done sir this one i believe i remember which is of course the whole point of this trading session to improve and i think i did in this uh, spot A lot of betting going on. Floater changing his mind to checking. So we're going with the check after the uh, after all said and done. And I do too. And I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, I believe this was a hundred percent check. There was no mixing going on here. Yeah. 
Let's check out some suit variations here. I would assume the weaker ones, we there is some betting going on here. Some 100% betting without flush draws. Yep. Exactly. And this, the more front or backdoor equity we pick up, the less likely is it, it is that we want to bet. We were just gonna, yeah. How about this one? Let me put up the poll yet again. Gonna keep an eye on run at once. They're not live yet, so we're not missing anything from the Gaffon challenge. Ah, uh, what was this one? I honestly, I don't remember. We have to gutter to the straight flush. Yeah. I believe that one was a check too. I don't think it was mixed. I don't think this one was mixed. I think it was a 100% check. Yeah. We went for the bet here, which is probably with the king high flush we're betting yeah yeah Neo. I, I'm so happy that now I have a feeling I understand the spot at least a little bit better after the last stream I really didn't Okay, the Gaffon, so let's do this, the last one. The Gaffon challenge is on. Gaffon is down, 600. Oh, they're just playing the very first hands there. So I'll actually put in the, the raid already. Uh, but let's do this last one here, nevertheless. Um... I think the backdoor made a difference, but I don't remember what it was. Explain media protection, have some decent runners, Kina says. The jack does make a difference. What was the difference? I think we check. And without the... No, we better than 100%. All right, all right, all right. Yesterday's results, OMFG, in the end, uh, he was ahead 3k. So we got double the splash. Okay, let's... Do take a look at the suit variations before the raid auto kicks in. Which ones do we bet at the high frequency? Check at the high frequency, basically. The king high uh, flush draw, okay. And with the. Okay, now it's also very. Now it's starting to be very much mixed here. Here we don't have spade blockers, just the back door. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, very likely, at least as such is the plan, with another study stream. So if that floats your boat, then join back in. Thanks for watching, and let's head over to the Rant Once channel. See you guys.